Hi, this is EPFL Explorer. EPFL Explorer is a student-led space robotics association that is part of the MAKE initiative at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. The association counts 120 students that are dedicated to our one mission, train the next generation of engineers. We are divided into three distinct poles. There is first the Explore Rover Challenge, our education initiative. This year, we host our second iteration of the competition where nine mini rovers will perform tasks inspired by the ERC. With this training, students then join our European Rover Challenge poll which is responsible for building our competition rover and drone. And finally, for students who want to tackle more advanced space robotics projects, we have Explore Research. This year, our team of 60 students participating in the European Rover Challenge is led by our Vice President and Project Manager, Antoine Nari, who oversees our system engineers team, composed of an electronics, mechanical, and software system engineer. They are in charge of the software for the handling device, the navigation, and the control station for the software side, the structure, the drone, and the hardware for the handling device on the mechanical subsystems and finally the avionics, the power and the science for the electronics. Apart from the technical side, the association is supported by a task force made of a sponsoring, a logistics, a finance and finally a communication officer that enables us to expand our outreach and capabilities. This year we've been working on our fifth iteration of our rover and drone and we are now proud to present to you Phoenix and Zephyr. Reach of our past experience with four participations to the ERC, we are willing to take it the challenge once again. Every year, this competition enables our team to learn from our mistakes and provides a new generation with opportunities to tackle fascinating problems. We can't wait to meet again the like-minded students that compete in the European Rover Challenge and to feel the thrill and excitement of this special occasion. This year, with the development of Phoenix and Zephyr, we focus on two key pillars, robustness and maintainability. Our systems are designed to demonstrate consistent performance under challenging conditions, while also enabling efficient field operations. The electronics architecture of Phoenix has been significantly upgraded, transitioned from a broker protocol to a centralized sensor fusion, leveraging ROS on Raspberry Pi, thus ensuring modularity and real-time data handling. Furthermore, the cable management within the service module has been re-engineered to improve safety, reliability, and ease of maintenance. A notable advancement for Phoenix this year is the integration of two onboard computers, one for the navigation system and the other one for the robotic arm. This division of computational load not only enhances performance, but also fault isolation. Our control station is now fully integrated with the rover, enabling real-time monitoring and control over all subsystems. Operators can view sensor data, motor currents, initiate autonomy pipelines, switch operational mode, and even activate a dedicated shutdown protocol if needed. Inspired by last year's platform, the new service module has been enhanced with dual-part 3D printed wheels for improved damping and shock absorption, enabling faster prototyping and rugged terrain traversal. Our rover can perform 360 degrees rotations, tackles inclines, and now features a custom omnidirectional drive system which allows precise and multidirectional control. Localization and obstacle avoidance are used by fusing the data from a LiDAR, IMU, as well as onboard cameras, which allows us for autonomous navigation, especially on the Mars yard. In critical situations, a hardware kit switch located on the front right side of the rover ensures complete power down within milliseconds. Zephyr is equipped with a stereo camera and a custom flight controller board to facilitate real-time fusion of visual as well as inertial data, improving precision during flight, as well as a ROCO-based detection and landing. Our newly trained machine learning model handles mid-air probe detection and pose estimation for fast and reliable results.
Manual control can be regained instantly by a certified pilot. In addition, emergency landing protocols can be triggered either from the RC transmitter or from the ground station. The robotic arm has undergone significant upgrades, including a six-fold increase of speed, reduced backlash, and a lighter structure. The gripper from last year, proven effective across various manipulation tasks, has been retained due to its versatility in handling rocks, solid samples, metal bars, and interacting with a control panel. We've also integrated machine learning models to better detect rotary as well as deep switches to improve our performance in the maintenance task. In addition, new containers have been improved for sampling collection, rock, sand, and deep samples, optimizing accessibility and operational efficiency. We are reusing the reliable 30 plus centimeter depth drill from last year. Now with increased gear ratio and new motors, we have faster operations as well as greater torque. A transparent cylinder enables real-time visual inspection of layered soil samples, very crucial for depth analysis. Our scientific objective this year is centered around human survivability on Mars. Phoenix will analyze the geological compositions, humidity, pH levels, as well as airborne particles to assess the viability of future manned missions to the Red Planet. 